one last good look around because it's the last time you'll ever see her looking like this. That's right, demolition is starting and we are gonna give this gal the most beautiful makeover in the land, starting right now. Nailed it. Did I do it? Enough nice energy? Job. I had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> Woo! Look at this gnarlness. Whoa, you went back in. How'd I do it? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. That's right. Today begins the long and arduous journey of renovating this beautiful retro RV that we bought earlier this month. We've had so many things to fix on the engine and on the outside that I never really thought we'd get to work on the inside. This is meant to be a kind of an ongoing long-term project. It's just something we've always wanted to do. So we're gonna be working on it off and on, but getting as much done as we can. And that starts today. I'm a little scared, <laughs> but we're just gonna go in and I guess start ripping stuff out and see how it goes. Yeah. First off, we need to change into something a little bit more work appropriate. Wait, this, you don't work in crop tops? <laughs> I don't know. No, not me, not usually, <laughs> but. All right, let's head inside. Or get changed, then head and see. First things first, we are going to gut this area of the RV. This is where the old living room seating area was. So we've taken the top part off. We've uh, kind of done a little cleanup just because it was so much loose debris in here that we didn't want to have to deal with that. From left to right, what's under here is the water tank. Then in the center here, you have the furnace and to the right of that is the water heater. And all this stuff actually works and you can tell it's in pretty good condition. I think some of it's been replaced over the years or at least really kept up because it all looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna look. Next order of business is we are going to remove all these little pieces of wood that were kind of making up the base of the previous seat uh, because we are going to be redoing all of that. And then we're gonna really scrub the heck out of the stuff and get it looking sparkly clean. Just got the majority of this sucker out of here. Check out the dirt line. <laughs> Lord, that's a lot of dust in there. So if you want to know kind of what it looked like originally, there you have it. <laughs> yep, this nice yellow linoleum, probably filled with asbestos. <laughs> we just took a huge piece out. Oh, look at this gnarlness. Oh, Ew. Yeah. That's so messed up. So that's because of a little water damage that uh, happened over here. I guess this was leaking, leaked down to here, and then that pooled down here. And there you go, voila, water damage. Luckily, we were aware of this one uh, more or less when we bought it. We, we knew this was here, so we assumed there was some water damage over here. So ultimately, we're gonna replace this whole panel here. But first, we gotta clean all that crap up. How's it coming over there? <laughs> you look slowly, frustrated. Slowly, but surely, but mostly slowly. So, sorry. So my brother's actually renovating a van, so that's him in the background. But we are trying desperately to get the last screws out of these seats here. They're bolted to the wall and we can't get the padding off of the seats because the metal from the chairs runs through it. So yeah. this is my technique. It's a square head. So I stick it in there, I hold it like this, and then just one at a time, <laughs> go like that until it slowly but surely comes. we're getting around it took about an hour longer than it should have but we got these seats oh. removed <laughs> check it out <laughs> oh my gosh that feels good i feel accomplished good riddance <laughs> be gone look at all the space we have in here Woo! we can have a dance party it's not ready for that yet oh too soon well, we hit a little bit of a snag. What we didn't really anticipate is that some of the original vinyl flooring has come up and will also have to be removed. The problem with that is that a lot of times those floors in the, that were built in the 70s can have asbestos in them. We figured better safe than sorry. We took samples of the floor and then while I was at it, I took samples of the, uh, is that a wasp? Oh God, yeah. Ah! There's probably a bunch of them inside here oh, sneaking no. in. What I was saying was that we took a sample of the floor, of the insulation of the walls just in case, and the carpets, and we sent them off to a company to test them. That's going to take a while, and the shipment actually got delayed, so it's gonna take even longer. But that is not a problem. It's just a hang-up, which we knew we were gonna have a lot of hang-ups doing this, so that's hang-up number one, or maybe number 10, depending on yeah. what you're classifying a hang-up. But there's still plenty of work that we wanted to do on the outside of the vehicle. For example, there's some emblems on the front that we were able to pop off and then get all cleaned up, rinse them off and use some common on them, and then put them back, and just that alone made a huge difference in just making it look a little bit newer up in the front. There's also a bunch of old stickers and decals that are on the outside that are 
quite decrepit. They're actually really hard to remove because they are just caked on from being on there over the years. Try to remove this one back here, and this is as far as I've gotten. So you can see it's done so much damage to the paint below it. The technique we've been using is just using this little heat gun, and when you use this, it loosens up the sticky stuff, and instead of coming off in scrapes and pieces, the whole thing kind of slides off. We debated whether or not to leave this on, but I guess since we're not lifetime members of bass we should probably take that off right <laughs> and we are definitely not drag racers <laughs> no we're not maybe one day we also noticed that our tires kept going flat yeah, one even of them did one of them turns out our valve stems were like all faulty and we needed them replaced yeah so we did that and look at these things you guys i've never seen fancier valve yeah. stems than these at the tire shop they were very excited about these valve stems <laughs> so they gave us the best of the best the best of the best yeah. and these do not leak and will never ever leak dang it we have officially received the results of the asbestos test. And we're negative. Woo! Yes. All four tests came back saying none detected. We are asbestos free, you guys. So we are going to head back into the RV and reconvene work. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> first things first, we are going to remove all the old wood from this overhead cab because Take a look over there. Oh There's a bunch of water damage over here. So we're going to take this panel up. Luckily, most of the wood, as you can see under here, is actually really nice. Oh yeah. So we can keep all this stuff. These walls are also gonna have to be uh, removed as well because there's a bunch of water damage down there. And we're gonna have to reseal these windows because obviously I'm pretty sure that's where all the water's been coming in. Are we're you having there. fun yet? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're, we're trying to take as much precaution as we can because there's so much dust and there's a little bit of mold over there. So we got our N95 masks on, we got our goggles, and of course, gloves. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> While Eric is banging away up there, <laughs> I am going to attempt to rip up this carpet. So a lot of you have been saying how we shouldn't do anything like the 70s vibe in here is so cool, but y'all, it's nasty. Yeah. This carpet has got to go. Everything's got a lot of rot and mold, so we really have to do a lot in here. So there is no salvaging this, unfortunately. Yep. Not that upset about it, though. It's a, it's a brown turd carpet. <laughs> <laughs> not with the old. <laughs> Check that out. Whoop. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Seen better days. Bye, guy. We won't miss you at all. We are making progress, you guys. A lot more progress than I thought we would make in one day. As you can see, I have ripped out all the different wall panels, ripped out the floor panel up here. The problem is this one cross beam right here was just completely black because water has been leaking into there. And you can see some of it seeped into this side here. So this piece of wood's gonna have to be replaced. The way I've been doing this is with this, it's a angled multi-tool, I think is the technical name for it. But basically it has a little blade on the tip there. When you engage it, it just oscillates back and forth. So you can use it to get into all these tight crevices and cut this wood. Like this piece here, I've been cutting with this tool, but it isn't quite finished down there. So just give it a little bit of an extra snip. You have to be really careful because this is all up against the aluminum, the original aluminum, and we don't want to cut into that, obviously. God, oh. Oh, one more nasty piece of oh wood down. Gosh. Great. Vintage RV, yeah! While Eric's been having so much fun up there, I have been removing this carpet, and y'all, it has been a chore. All of this padding has been like glued down to the floor, so I have to come down here and scrape it to get it all off. And luckily, so, all this has been tested for asbestos, so... Yes. Still try to be very careful, though, wearing our goggles and our masks, because there is stuff flying everywhere, yeah. and it is nasty. You do not old. want to breathe this crap in, no. that's for sure. Whew. Oh my god, what a day, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> we actually were surprised with how much progress we, progress we made in just one day. It really helps having two people, so we can just tackle two jobs at once. Does my face have all the lines, too? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, mine dang. really bad. <laughs> we look crazy. <laughs> yeah, these masks, they keep you safe, oh. but... They really mess up your face. I think that's gonna do it for today. We're gonna pick up tomorrow and I'm going to try to do as much as I can on the overhead cab. I have a fantasy of actually replacing all the wood up there by tomorrow. I'm excited. <laughs> we made so much progress today. A lot of the yeah. carpet came up. Hopefully tomorrow I can get the rest of it. 
Yo, I'm gonna have such blisters on my hands from digging yeah. in the gloves. Oh! Yeah, it is a lot of work, but we never get to work with our hands like this. So for us, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, we'll see no... if that dies down after weeks of doing this. Yeah, we had no laptop time today, no screens. It was just in there having a blast, sweating our tushes off. So Jeez, we're gonna have to Lord. do something about these lines. Are they really bad? <laughs> Anyways, we're clearly exhausted and loopy from all and this. It's time, time for a beer and yeah. a shower. Work is over for the day. Time for dinner. Oh what are you God. making? Fried green tomatoes, you guys. Check this out, y'all. It's gluttonous and not healthy in any way, but doesn't it look delicious? Oh. This, this is the final product over here. Perfect end of the day. Also, <laughs> the shower, it felt so good. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to day three. As you can see, I've upgraded my mask. We actually have a HEPA filter in here that is for small spaces. So we're trying to keep the air as clean as possible, keep as much of it as possible out of our lungs. We also found some surprises today. <laughs> this window here, we couldn't actually get to it before because they would kind of screwed on some kind of mesh thing to it. We removed that, and as you can see, all the wood framing here is really decrepit. I don't know how much of this is custom, or it looks really slopped together, so there's no telling what's going on. But we're gonna have to remove all that, and then we're gonna be probably reframing out this window. But a little update on the rest of it, We've removed most of the crap wood. We still got a little bit on the left and the right there that we're gonna remove. And then we're going to start assessing how much wood we need to kind of refill those spots and keep the good wood. Day three is coming to a close. We haven't had that much to report because basically I've just been working on these pieces of wood and trying to get them out there as delicately as possible. But this is basically what we're dealing with. So I was going to reseal this anyway, but I wasn't, I didn't really realize that I kind of have to reseal it as I'm fixing the stuff on the inside because all this stuff attaches to that wood, which I'm replacing. You just have a piece of wood that's gonna, that we're gonna replace right here. And then we're gonna clean all this stuff up as much as possible. Then all this stuff just goes here. You can see all the screw holes where the trim sits on there. I have some sealant that's gonna be delivered tomorrow as well as the replacement for this vinyl insert because this is the kind of stuff that was under there. You guys it's gross and Look eric's assuring me that we can do a really beautiful job up there there's a worm here oh there's no. literally a worm or something is that like worm nest i don't know what this is gross. there's some some kind of creatures were growing inside this thing so I don't know. yeah but y'all this is the nasty pile yeah that was up in there that we had to scrape yeah. off by hand this is all the sealant <laughs> we are going to whip this sucker into shape and we are going to give it a seal like it's never been sealed before and we're not getting any more water up in here <laughs> Day four is off to a bad start. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> well, we just popped out the window and we have the seal off because we were gonna be cleaning all this up and resealing everything. A little storm cloud decided to come on by. <laughs> this hasn't been in the forecast all week. And all of a sudden I just look at my phone, 50% chance of rain right now. So we're preemptively covering it all right back up <laughs> with our kitty litter. It's officially raining. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea. Well, it should pass very quickly, so we'll keep you posted. But for now, we're just gonna be sad in the corner. Yeah. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> just kidding, we planned this whole shot. <laughs> okay, I've had to rip out all this wood and I'm reframing a bunch of this, starting with the window. So here's the idea. We've got two by twos that we framed out the window with. We had to remove the old wood because it was all nasty and green. We put these handy little pocket holes, which are super useful because that means we don't have to drill in like this. We can do it from out here. So that means that we can take this stuff apart very easily later on if we need to as well. I don't know if I sound like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. This is my first time doing pocket holes like this or framing a window for that matter. So hopefully it looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. It actually looks really janky. <laughs> okay, whatever. This is what you got to do to get it to work, man. Haha! Pocket hole driven. <laughs> we're not really sure where to leave this video off, but I think we're gonna do it now. Yeah, not gonna lie, we really thought we would get a lot more progress done. We got a lot of progress done, we just had to undo a lot more than we thought we would have to. So, yeah. it's just in constant disarray lately. Yeah, we're getting the hang of it though, slowly but surely. It feels good to have new wood in place of the old wood though. Looks good, feels good. Yes, it I is like not it. black, which I like. The floors yeah. are coming along nicely. Are we in way over our heads? Definitely, definitely are. <laughs> 
but we're figuring it out, yeah. you guys. Let us know in the comments down below and with a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you want to see more of the actual renovation because we weren't really planning on showing every little part of it. We were planning on going on some local adventures and stuff, kind of like we did recently in Cincinnati. We got some really cool stuff planned, so we're going to do that. But we just want to make sure you guys are enjoying watching this whole process, mainly watching us completely F it up. <laughs> yeah, but it's just going to take a lot longer, obviously, than we ever thought. So we can make as many or as few videos out of it as you guys would like because mm -hmm. There's a lot of work to be done. Yes, this is what we're dealing with right now. So. <laughs> it's a blank canvas, right? Oh God, a blank, decrepit, moldy canvas. Yeah. All right, we're rambling on a bit. This video is probably, I can't tell how long this video is. It's spanned over a week and a half, you guys. But anyway. All right, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.